Elder Dedrick Jones, who is the coordinator of the uh, jurisdictional music it. department, preached a sermon in an AIM convention a few years ago. And his subject was, you gotta say it until you see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta say it until you see it. Some of y'all want things in life. You want young people, you want things. You want a, a couple of colleagues, but you, you see no way, you see no money. Brother Raymond, God bless him. Thank God for my little brother, Brother Raymond, being here today. But I, we, we say things, we say, we say to ourselves when we're young, when I grow up, I want to have this, I want to have this kind of car. And we never believe that we can have that. Because it costs too much, or it costs this, or it costs that. But I want you to understand, you got to say it until you see it. How many, how many believe that today? Yeah, be sure you got to say it, first lady, until you see it. Hallelujah. Don't, 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 don't tell yourself that you're going to be in the back of the line always. But tell yourself, I'm moving to the front of the line. I'm not going to be last no more. I'm not going to be in the background no more. I'm coming to the forefront now. My God, my God. So I want to pray. I want to pray for those. And I call and there are others. Maybe Mother Kim Robinson. Uh, Missionary Brenda Smith. Faithful woman of God. Faithful. I'm talking about faithful. And you know, but at the time when we say faithful, sometimes the preacher may mean faithful in giving, but she's faithful in all aspects yes. of salvation. And I thank God for her, Sister Shayla and Danielle and Jennifer Parks. God bless you. We pray for Derek Thacker yes. and Yolanda Thacker and their family. We pray this morning for Deacon John Jordan, Sister Felicia Jordan, yes. JJ, Travion in Korea. We pray for so many others that said they're sick in their body. Pray for Brother Steve Owen, the Brother Steve Scott. Yeah. Steve Scott on this one, husband of Lady Dart Scott. We pray for the pastors of our city, their wives, for the pastors of our city and their husbands. We pray for the families today, the young people. Father, in Jesus' name, God, we thank you now before we ask you for anything, we must thank you for everything. God, I thank you for my life right now. I thank you that when I laid down on last night, God, Amen. you put your angels about me. Watch all night long, you watched over me. God, I thank you now. I praise you now. God, I pray down for Ellen Missionary Bull. I pray for that granddaughter. God, you can move on that situation. And even now, God, while we're praying, we ask you, God, we thank you for doing it now, God. We thank you, God, for Mother Grace, God. Yes. Touch that head, God. In the name of Jesus, remove whatever it is. Yes. In the name of Jesus. God, you do the operating, God. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Hands, we pray, God, for the heart, God. The heart of Lula, Lula Haynes. We pray for the heart of Prophet Haynes. We pray for the Phillips family. God, that you would comfort them, God, even in their loss. God, I know it's not easy, but I ask you to comfort them. Give them comfort now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every sister of Sister Lola, God, look on them now, God. Mary and the gang, God, look on them, God, in the name of Jesus. Look on the nieces, look on the grandchildren, God. Look on them now. Look on the brother, God, in the name of Jesus. I pray right now for strength, God, in the name of Jesus. Move by your spirit. Move by your spirit, Lord. I pray for Teresa Hobbs. Give us strength, Lord, in the name of Jesus. God, now let the words of my mouth, meditation of my heart, be acceptable in thy sight, O oh God. We pray now. It is in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Give me about 10 minutes and I'll be going to my seat. About 10 minutes. About just 10 sanctified minutes. <laughs> 10 church minutes. Let me say it like that. All right, Pastor. All right. And knowing that we at church can't tell time, so give me about 10 minutes. Hallelujah.
want to talk, I'm going to the word quickly. I want to talk uh, uh, out of respect to all of our administrators in the absence, those that are here, and their wife, fiance, and to my wife, of course, to Mother Grace, Mother Urban, all of the praise team, thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you so much. Awesome job on yesterday at the uh, celebration. Sister Lou's brother, awesome job, awesome job of singing uh, our praise team. God bless you. First, uh, from the book of St. John, the eighth chapter, going quickly, the eighth chapter, and the first, beginning at the first verse. I'm gonna read a few verses thereafter. The book of St. John, the eighth chapter, and beginning at the first verse. God bless our young people here today. It said this, it said this, Jesus went unto the Mount of Olives, and early in the morning, he came again into the temple. You can play softly a little bit, and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna hit it in a few minutes. And all the people came unto him, and he sat down and taught them. And the scribes and Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery. Well, when they had set her in the midst, they say, they say unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. Now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned. But what sayest thou? Mm. This they said, tempting him that they might have to might have to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down and with his finger wrote on the ground as though he heard them not. Uh -huh. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto him, he that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. And again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. And they which heard it being convicted by their own conscience went out one by one, beginning at the eldest, even unto the last. And Jesus was left alone and the woman standing in the midst. May God add a blessing to the reading. His word is already blessed. Uh -huh. I want to I wanna just deal with, talk to you just for a few minutes, about eight minutes here. I want to talk to you, got eight more minutes, about don't get the big head because you're saved. Don't get the big head because you're saved. Sometimes we become saved, we get saved, we speak in little tongues. Mm -hmm. And we we wanna we wanna throw a we wanna uh, uh, cast a stone at everybody else. Right, right. And and that, do you know we have ran there are so many people that have been ran away from the church uh -huh. because of our traditions, uh -huh. Sister Candice. Yeah, yeah, our attitude. Uh -huh. You know, uh, sometimes folk get saved, but some some folk save what they get the meter they get. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Some folk, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I just believe that folks that are saved, you ought to be sweet. The, the yeah. saver you are, the sweeter you ought to be. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me now, huh? You are the saver you are, the sweeter you go, you ought to be. Uh, don't think that you are the only one saved. Don't think that you are the only one that's been delivered. Don't think you're the only one that's been brought out. My God, you here it is in our text. That they wanted to throw stone, they wanted to cast this woman out because of, she was caught in the very act of adultery. Evidently, she was caught with another woman's husband. Huh? Caught in the very act of adultery. And, and, and you know, the Bible reminds us of this. I got a few more minutes, six more minutes. The Bible reminds us of this that, that he said, be careful for nothing. Uh, least ye be overtaken right, in the right. same fault. I don't know why it is that church folk, once you get saved, you come out of the world and you 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 you, you just came from the, the club, you just came from smoking marijuana, you just came from drinking Jack Daniel, and you want to frown up at the very thought of alcohol. When you when you just you just stop drinking it yourself. You just you just got out of that woman's bed with her husband yourself, y'all ain't gonna talk to me. Oh my God, my, you just got on that other man's bed with that man's wife and then you want to frown and fault 
They come in the church and they're not what you are. They don't shout like you shout. They don't wear their hair like you wear their hair. They don't dress like you dress. The mother used to sing a song and they said, look where he brought me from. He brought me out of darkness into this marvelous light. But how many know salvation? You gotta take it step by step. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me now. There, there are some folk I wanna, and I'm finna explain it. I know you might not like it, but I'm gonna say it like it is. There, there are some folk who are delivered. They have been saved, they have been sanctified, they speak in tongue, amen, but their hands are saved, their feet are saved, but their mouth ain't that saved yet, huh? And their mouth's gotta catch up with their hands and their feet. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me now. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. They got to catch up with their hands and their feet. Their wallet not saved yet. Huh? They haven't been delivered on paying their tithes yet. Y'all ain't going to talk to me now. Huh? They haven't been delivered on giving a good offering yet. Huh? But, I, I, but if you keep praying for them. See, sometimes, let me tell you something. Let me tell you, I got a few more minutes. Sometimes the best way to make people grow in God is to leave them alone. Yes. Now, now, I'm going to let that say again. I'm going to let that say again. You say, Pastor, leave them alone. Pray for them, but leave them alone. Because, you know, sometimes you a parent can always get on a child. Can I, can I, I had to slow down and then say that. A parent can always get on a child. Anybody, I know somebody out there, you ought to just type in the comments. Say it, Pastor. Listen, there are some folk that always get on their children. And the more you get on your children, the worse are they become. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing right. now. Huh? Right. Instead right. of you opening your mouth, going on your knees to get down on them rusted knees and praying right. and going in their room when they sleep and anointing them when they sleep. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing now. Huh? Anointing them with all while they sleep. Anointing their bed. Anointing their phone. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing. Anointing their dressers. Anointing their drawers and their dressers. Huh? Instead of you doing that, you always getting on them. And the more you get on them, the worse they become. Huh? And that's the way the church is. That the more we get on folk, the worse they become. Uh, the more we, 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 we just talk about them, the more we put them down. My God, what's the difference? They commit the doctrine, you lying, so it ain't no difference. All, all sin is sin. The Bible said all of righteousness is sin. Yeah. You, you talking about them, you putting them down. Uh, they come in church, you frown up at them. You look at them crazy. Huh? Okay. I, I always say this. I always say this. I want to tune up, but, but the Lord won't let me yet. Here, here's the thing. I always say this. You can't expect a sinner to act like a saint. Come on, pal. Huh? My God. And then here's the thing. We get saved, and I'm going to hit somebody hard on this, and y'all uh -oh. pray for me. Uh -oh. But we get saved, and, and, and mother, you saved, and you, you wearing your dress down to your ankle. And then you want the young happen. women to wear their dress down to their ankles. It ain't gonna happen. It, it ain't gonna happen, huh? Uh, don't don't come tell my wife to put on a dress going down to her ankles when we going out to a fancy restaurant, huh? Y'all ain't gonna talk to me now, huh? She not dressing for you. She dressing for me. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me now, huh? My God. See see here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, you, you gotta have a dress for the church. And then you got to have a dress for your husband. Y'all ain't going to talk to me now. Huh? Well, say, well, I know somebody said, well, well, you know, my husband, he's saved. He's saved. Baby, I, I'm saved, but I like my wife to look sexy. Y'all ain't going to talk to me now. Uh, I, I don't want her looking like a mother hubbard. Uh, I, I want a, I, I want a saved, sanctified, sexy wife. Y'all ain't going to talk to me now. And so we put folk down. We, we down folk. We, we talk about folk. We run, we run the young folk away from the church. I got it. 
say. Mm -hmm. I, I got your child. Mm -hmm. Some of us, some of us just hold our children, hold our children, and God had already promised you, I'm gonna save them, I'm gonna deliver them, I'm gonna bring them out. Mm -hmm. And the thing about it is, I got a few more minutes. I got a few more minutes. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. God didn't promise you he's gonna deliver. Uh -huh. God didn't promise you he's gonna bring them out. And you still worrying God over the same issue about your child. And God said, listen, whatever they doing, I'm keeping them. Huh? God said, everything they doing, I'm keeping them. I'm watching them. I'm watching over them. Huh? I got my hands on them. Huh? I got my arms around them. Huh? And when they get in wrong, when they get in the wrong place, I'm not gonna even let them do wrong. They're gonna talk to me now. You gotta, you gotta know. So this woman, this woman in our text, she was found in the caught in the very act of adultery. And what does Jesus say? Jesus says in the scripture, he said, "Listen, you that are without stone, you that are without sin, let them cast the first stone." Huh? Y'all got me sweating. No yeah, he said, you, you, you ain't did no wrong. In other words, what Jesus was really saying, you ain't never been caught in adultery. Mm -hmm. You ain't never lied. You ain't never cheated. Spiritual huh? adultery. You have huh? spiritual adultery. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me now. Well, huh? Well, spiritual well, adultery well, is it, it just as works as natural. Just as works as natural adultery. Well, because you're cheating well, on well, Jesus. Yes, sir. Uh, you got everything in front of Jesus. And then we have the audacity to put everything in front of Jesus and then ask Jesus to make a way for you. Yeah. And you know what? Sometimes he makes a way when you really don't even deserve the way. You don't, you don't deserve to have any finances. You don't deserve to be blessed. You don't deserve to go up in, in society. But Jesus said, I'm going to let you go up anyway. Even though you're not living all you live, you're supposed to be living. Even though you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. Even though you're not coming to church like you supposed to be coming to. We can go everywhere else. Oh my God, my God. And we don't go to church. Everything else. Nobody else is infected. But the church. Nobody else is infected. But the church. So we decide we're going to work. We decide we, we, we're going to the mall. We're going to the grocery store. But we won't go to the church. But I want to drop a message in you today until you get back to the church. Lord have mercy. Matter of fact, when they were they were having a dinner in the Bible, somebody said having a dinner, and they invited them to the feast. And listen, the one they invited, and I'm going to my seat with this, but the one they invited, they invited the superintendent, they invited the bishops and their wives. I got to say it, you my sanctified imagination. They told the musicians to come. They told the choir members to come. But they said, Jesus, I married a new wife and I can't come now. So Jesus told them, he said, go back and get the lame, get the maim, get the sinner man and tell them to come and bring no money. They ain't got to stop by the ATM. They ain't got to go by the bank. Bank of America. And go inside. And get no money out the bank. But tell them come. I got to let you know. It's time for us. To open the doors. And let them come. Come. Unto the feast. Come.
have a right. You don't have a reason to judge anybody. Lord have mercy. Because we got to do secret sins. Secret sins. We shout on Sunday. We speak in tongues. We preach in the pulpit. But on Monday, we got wondering eyes. Lord have mercy. On Monday, we got a lying tongue. You undress them with your eyes. And you say to yourself, baby, I don't know why she came up in this church wearing that. But let me tell you something. Give a person an opportunity to meet the blood. Because, see, people will not convict you. But it takes the blood. Play softly, play softly. It takes the blood to convict an individual. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Sometimes, sometimes we speak to a person and we, we, we talk to them about their dress and the more we talk to them, that's the worse of their dress. Some of them do it on purpose. You hear what I'm saying? Leave them alone. Now I know somebody's not going to agree with me, but leave them alone. Who are you? Hallelujah. Before you got saved, you was a mess too. Before you got delivered, you was a mess too. Yeah. Uh huh. And some folks say they saved, but they ain't got saved yet. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Because see, some folks just saved on Sunday. That's right. But you got to realize there's a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Hallelujah. You supposed to be saved in the Walmart. Uh huh. Hallelujah. You, you, we, we look at folk. I, I, I promise I'm finished. We look at folk. And we go in the store, go in Walmart, and we say, that, that she ought to be ashamed of herself coming up here like that. But when she had not had contact with the blood, it takes the blood to change you. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. That may be all she has. Mm -hmm. huh? Sometimes we look at folk the way they dress in church. And you say, baby, that dress too short. Are, are that suit too tight, brother? Go buy him another one. Why you looking? Why you looking? <laughs> go buy him another one. Don't get on I, I promise I'm finished. I promise I'm finished. Something's wrong with you to be looking like this. But I just needed to drop this message to you today. Huh? You. This woman was caught in adultery. Mm. But the blood stands there, which is Jesus. And he said to them, yes. them that are without sin, let them cast the first stone. 
Y'all hear what I'm saying? Stop, stop characterizing folks. Stop judging folks. That's it, Pastor. Huh? Some, some, there are some folks in your church ain't been to church in a year, but they more saver than you are. Uh -huh. They done prayed more prayers than you pray. Yes, they done been with God more than you've been with God. You come to church, you've been coming to church ever since the pandemic, and you still ain't got no anointing. Huh? Come on. You still ain't, ain't been filled with the Holy Ghost. Y'all ain't, ain't going to say this thing. Huh? You, if you still talking about folk, putting folk down, huh? lying on folk, because when you put folk down, you gossip. I like to tell folk all the time that they say, well, have you heard about so-and-so? They say, he, he this way, or she this way. I said, I don't know, because I have not seen them in action. And we characterize folk, yet we don't even know those individuals. I need, I need to pray for those that, that are not saved. God bless our, our, our family. God bless the young lady coming in. I call our family. Amen. God bless her. I want to pray for those that may not be saved. You may be a member of a church. You may not be a member of a church. You may be young. You may be old. You may be saying to yourself, I don't go to church because people look at me funny when I go to church. The devil is alive. They are no better than you. It's because you're saved, because you speak in some tongues, huh? because you wear your dress down to your ankle, you wear your suit big enough for two people to get in, that don't mean you saved. Hallelujah. You got to be saved from the heart. Huh? And the Bible said, let this mind be in you. That was also in Christ. In the church, and I know I'm going I'm to right off in the step on some toes, so we got too many traditions. In the church, yeah, we need to get yeah. rid of some of these. Positions. And the Bible tells us that. Uh -huh. So don't get rid of all the traditions, but some of the stuff we need to get rid of. You 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 unsaved if you, if you're a woman and you go on the pulpit, the devil is alive. I know some folk ain't gonna like it. Hallelujah. When they speak in the national meeting, everybody speaks from the same pulpit. They don't have a pulpit for the men and a pulpit for the women. Right, right. But everybody speaks from the same pulpit. I'm so tired and sick of traditions. All right, all right. We need to get rid of this stuff. Baby. We need to get rid of this stuff. And we need to be one. We sing about one, but we don't we don't become one. God has no respect. I'm finna say this and I don't care if we like it or not. God has no respect of a person. Right, right, right. It was not a man who carried the word first. It was a woman who carried the all word right, first. All right. And it's time out for fighting gender preaching and, and women preaching and women pastors and men pastors. The devil is alive. You say he called you. We weren't there when he called you. So who are you to argue if he called that woman or not? Let me pray. Let me pray. Like it, but I'm, I'm not afraid to stand up on the word of God. We got to get rid of this stuff. Father, in Jesus' name, God, if you're not saved, God, if you will repeat after me, I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, and I believe in my heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. Forgive me of my sins. God, I'm not all I need to be. I'm not all I'm going to be. I'm not all I want to be. But God, help me. Help me now. Save me from my sins. Save me from myself, God. In the name of Jesus. Help me to walk the way you want me to walk. Not the way others want me to walk. In the name of Jesus. And I thank you now. In Jesus' name. I heard a group of my young people say repeating that, that, that prayer. Yeah. And I want to tell you, you're saved right now. Yeah. Listen. The Bible says this, and I'm told you, the Bible says this, that we have an advocate with the Father. That's it, that's it. Since sitting in the back, I want to tell you, you know, sometimes people make mistakes in church. Saints make mistakes. Some, and we kick, we kick about the pulpit. Say it, say it now. But see, God, He don't kick folk out like that, no. huh? God, yeah, yeah. He wants you to go back and get it right, and then God renew you. Y'all hear what I'm saying? I know He renews folk because He renewed Jonah. 
Y'all ain't y'all don't hear me. Jonah went and hid from God. He hid from God to keep from doing the will of God. And listen, while he was hiding from God, a storm arose on the ship that he was on. And Jonah really he kept the ship from getting all exhausted because he told them what the problem was. He said, Well, I'm gonna tell you what the problem is. I'm running from God. I'm a backslidden preacher. And I'm running from God. He said, but if you throw me overboard, everything is going to be all right. And so guess what they did? They threw Jonah overboard. And when they throw him overboard, guess what? The winds come. The ship started rocking. And what the problem is, stop worrying about other folk and worry about yourself. Because when you get yourself right, the winds will come down. The ship will stop rocking. Your family will stop being in turmoil. Watch this ministry all the way from Seattle and other areas. 